I walked like three miles and to get to the Belvedere to see Klimt's work, but it, it was his, his work is extraordinary. But I fell even more in love with Aegon Sheila. I loved Sheila before and oh, I'm just dreaming of getting home and starting to paint and just thinking about things I got to see in their work that I've never seen in anything that's traveled or any books. The different textures, the way they're using different brush strokes in one painting. And, uh, Sheila, oh my God, if you've never seen Aegon Sheila, the way the artists are talking to each other in their paintings, um, uh, Sheila has the embrace, which is kind of his variation on Klimt's The Kiss. And I also noticed that the the structure and form on the page of, of Klimt's Kiss is the same as his painting, The Sunflower. I, sh I should have looked to see which uh, order they were painted in because He's definitely working structurally with the same thing in both of those paintings. It's this incredible thing to be able to travel and see art and to have conversations in your mind with people from a long time ago and, and gain insights into it. It is, I feel just incredibly blessed. And now I'm heading down to the lower Belvedere, which is way down there. It's the upper Belvedere, which is where I saw the Clints, and I'm heading to the other side to see a contemporary art and uh, women, women artists, because they get so little play.